so cool. I need one of those. I got some Amazon girl. I could use that for my YouTube. Yeah. It's Tradio with the T. What's the T, baby? Are you ready? Yeah, you she got the T, baby. She got it. Turn your radio up. Let's go. go, go, go. Life in plastic, too, right? So, I want to know. There's so many tracks on the I love. I love Adore. Adore mm -hmm. you. First of all, I feel like that is just like the iconic. It's for women. Like, we all go through those things mm -hmm. with Adore you. And, of course, Funeral with yeah. Little Kim on the track. How did you get a little... First of all, it's been about what? <laughs> maybe about like nine, ten years since yeah, she's Kim. been featured with a female artist, right? And yeah. then here goes Dream Doll getting Lil' Kim on the track. How yeah. did that come about? I mean, I'm not going to lie. Till this day, it's just like I can't really vibe for that at all. I bet. And right? literally, like, she sent back her verse. I asked her, like, the beginning of August. Mm -hmm. And then she sent back her verse, um, mm -hmm. like... She sent back her verse like 13 days before I turned in my project. Dang. And I was scared too. I'm like, dang, is she going to get it back? Right. You like, know, but um, and go back to the track Adore You. That was like a record you. that I did with, um, like I was mm -hmm. actually finishing up a studio session. Then mm -hmm. uh, David Lee came in the studio yeah. and then he was like, Dream, I want to get a track with you. I'm like, oh, come on, let's do it. So I, initially it was his record. I'm like, it was no, his, I'm okay. on my project. Okay, right. Because oh, you know? sounds so good on your project. Like, yeah, you and mean. another thing was that like we were, we literally would kept, like he'll come out, this, out, this, out the booth and I'll go back in. And we just kept, oh, just it, was kept like a, it was like a, it was like a vibe like that. Like it That's was so up. dope. So, okay, so you had an amazing year. First of all, you have a birthday coming up, right? Yes, I'm 28, Pisces. Hey, your birthday is, is all about Sagittarius season, first of all. Come on, my birthday was I December 2nd. I have four second. Sagittarius around me. I'd be like... And my birthday was December 2nd, so you know we... My mom's birthday is 7th. Shut up! What you like your birthday? Girl, couple trips. Oh, I got lucky you. Out. I haven't... Um, <laughs> flewed out. Flewed out. <laughs> Did wrap you up for the year. You had yes. an amazing year with eight million I'm, streams. I'm surprised. I'm like, okay. How do you feel as a new artist to have such a big year? Yeah, I'm I'm excited. Like, right. Um, especially like, you know, comparing my last year to this year is like right. I'm so blessed mm -hmm. and um just so thankful and mm -hmm. so happy for the new listeners I was able to right. capture this year. Girl, like, you have outside of music, um, your reality TV fans though. Yeah. They deep. They, they support me, they follow me they through my whole you. journey, even though I'm not on um television no more. Right. They still like, you know, in tune and mm -hmm. with me on my journey. Now, I was one of your fans. I'm not even going to lie to you, okay. y'all. I was one of your fans. So, on reality TV, man, I'm sitting in front of you and you're not the mean girl that people portray That's to what be. I'm like, saying. What's, what's going on here? You know, when it comes to TV, I feel like um, a lot of people, it's quick for people to pass judgment on you mm -hmm. and just judge you of not getting to know you. Right. And I feel like that's, that's like something that that I fight on a daily basis because it's like I ain't come I didn't come up off you know freestyling off Instagram right, or right. Um, true you know um basically on YouTube like right. you know most artists did but mm -hmm. it's so it's more of like a battle for me mm -hmm. you know um that's why but sometimes I don't be getting credit off the wins that I be really that right. the W's that be really catching that, that's what because when you're on reality TV like a lot of people just like to use that against you you know what yeah, I mean so but like I've been on TV since 2015. I not, out. No, I did wild. I did wild now in two thousand and seventeen. Okay, but I did baggers come twenty two thousand fifteen. That is like, I was, that don't be like <laughs> you know, right? That is bitch and BGC, and right. I was only here a week. Well, right, right. So, do you think it kind of like did it help your music career or did no, it hinder it? Girl, so now. That show like bought me like mixed viewers, but then again, mm -hmm. I feel like no female that goes on Bagless Club could mm -hmm. ever have like a good, you know, a good um, reputation. Reputation, yeah. Because if you was in the corner mm -hmm. playing with um, <laughs> polishing your toes, that's true. You were not getting featured. You, one, you wasn't. They nobody was gonna remember you. Right. And two, you would have been called the punk. Mm -hmm. So, but then again, when you're in there, you turning up the house. That mm -hmm. like, you was troublemaker. You were bullied. That and that like. It's just so, it's just no way, good right. way out of that show. Right, right, that's know? what I'm about to say. But I got a lot of fans from that show. That mm -hmm. was like my entryway into like, you know, the industry. Mm -hmm. And, um, but when I started doing Love and Hip Hop, it was like, okay, I, gra I, I grasped a lot of music listeners. A lot of music, right. Yeah. And so, you was on season eight. Of season Love eight, yeah. So what's, what's going on? Because Love and Hip Hop is 
back <laughs> on it. I don't see Dream Doll. What girl? Give me the tea. Like, okay. what, what's up? No, I'm gonna come clean. I'm trying uh -huh. to like close the reality TV chapter. Oh, that's good. Girl. I'm actually filming my first movie. <gasps> in I January. thought you were gonna be in films and no, but I'm actually it. filming my that's first movie in January. Up. I'm so excited, but I need to tighten up. Like, you know, what you need to do? Like, no, it's just like I'm used to being my own character. So like, now I gotta play somebody else. You know, a little different in reality. That's what I'm saying. So, um, you know, I'm just I'm excited to be able to not have to go to you know a casting call right, or you right. know for them to come with me with the to this with this opportunity but, right you know i just really want to close the reality tv chat and that's in. that's good because you know a lot of times reality can follow you and you are such a positive young I female am, and like, i want I'm, you to you know I'm, I'm trying to protect my project love, protect my energy. Like, <laughs> right. Really, I'm really big on protecting my energy. It's staying away from negative vibe, negative people. I didn't cut off so We're sisters this already. Year. Period. We're I done cut off all types of bitches this year. Like right. I'm really on some like positive thing, and um, it's crazy because when I started doing music, like mm -hmm. homegirls that I had that were like in the music industry. They started moving shady. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, about right. <laughs> I'm the friend that if I'm performing in a powerhouse, yeah. I'll bring you out to and our song. Yeah, so G Easy bought you out powerhouse. Yeah, right? he How did. was that, girl? Exactly. So I was, it, it was so mad they get to go. So it was lit. Um, it was lit. You know, and it's crazy because I met you easy mm -hmm. the day before at Philly Powerhouse. Wow. I met him. Yeah, I met him, oh. and then we spoke about it. He was like, "Sure, I'll bring you out." Like, ah. hey, it was like that's a, but you know, energies connect. Energies real connect. connect with realness. Yeah. And I guess he's and on I that always, you. I've always connected with people, you right? Know, in person, but um. You know, it was just crazy because you know that's one hundred and five, so that's right, so. Right. So it meant a lot to me because mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. a lot of people think that I get handouts from like self, like oh, just because she gonna perform at Powerhouse just because of self. Yeah. And even my my label mate Lou, he mm -hmm. performed, mm -hmm. at, he opened up the show. Right, I could have performed with them. Right, that was so, the original plan. But mm -hmm. when I got the other opportunity, you know, why not secure the bag? You so know. as a female in this male dominated industry a young female beautiful thank you like do you feel like the odds are against you like um i i deal with mixed things mm -hmm. mixed situations you know mm -hmm. i have a lot of people that take advantage mm -hmm. um you know but i'm my mind is so like focused. business focused that is tunnel vision like, you know like i've had a lot of opportunities slip from my hands right um, because people try to play with me mm -hmm. you know um but i'm like it's a gift and a curse when it comes to right. having you know mm -hmm. those traits it's like right. you gotta work extra hard yeah it, you know but Girl, it's cool. even in radio being a female I of think course i love hard. i love females me too, too. i'm just such like a women empowerment girl yeah especially it. women that you know actually are doing something with their life because there's a mm -hmm. lot of handout bitches out here right yeah you feel girl. me that rely on guys let's talk about it like let's talk. I, I never been like when i worked when i when i was bartending at, um in another life i never been around so many females that just depend on guys depend on guys and like don't up. have no like mm -hmm. no goals mm -hmm. you know a lot of girls are getting clout from guys which is sad you know like we yeah. all young we all can secure the same bag these guys out here securing so yeah. i commend you for just being you girl yeah. being dream that's bullies. the only person i could be right you know i can't be nobody else so life and plastic too what is your what was your favorite joint to actually do put out there because i love bundles now bundles <laughs> i feel like bundles is all over the internet right yeah, now like people are killing that song bundles especially a lot of like it was like a good marketing song too so it a lot was. of people like hair companies and mm -hmm. like you know if you if your bundles is dropping out your nice. back you know? <laughs> right but um I ain't gonna lie, but every song like on mm -hmm. this project is like my baby. Like they're baby. all different, mm -hmm. you know. They all, you know, I created them all differently. Right. And I ain't gonna lie, I picked out of fifty songs. Like well, me and my team, like like even some songs that I really really wanted on it right. on the project, you know, didn't make it on it. But you know, um, they're all so different. And you were so transparent on there too. When I listen, yeah. I'm like, wow, she. It's like you giving us the real. Like I said, you was dealing with like fuck. Did I hear something like father issues? Yeah, my it's, father is doing 55 years. Wow. Yeah. You know, it's crazy because my father's in Rikers because I'm from New York. Oh, yeah. Yo, mm -hmm. I can tell you from New York, though. Listen, like, wow. I was raised here, though, but my roots are in Brooklyn. Brooklyn you but know you be saying? out in Brooklyn. Yeah, right? all the time. I'm going back on the 21st. So. Oh, for, for Christmas. Yeah, for, to see my family, of course. And, like, okay. just hearing that album, uh, well, that track alone was like, dang. You but know, she's over. a real, Right, she's a real person. And a lot of people think, like, just because you're on reality TV or you're an artist, you're not a real person. And I love yeah. that you were so transparent yeah. on that joint. So, you know, girl, right. you, you definitely have me in my feelings on that one, girl. Let me tell you something. 
the difference between me and a lot of um, females coming up right now is that people really didn't meet me as Tabitha. Right. You know, people mm -hmm. didn't see me, um, you know, when I, because I'm from Eden World Projects. Like, right. I, I, like, they, they didn't see that, that, mm -hmm. that cycle in my life. They mm -hmm. didn't see the growth really they only seen the growth through tv, the TV they didn't right. meet me before tv because for, before i got on black girls club i had 173k followers mm -hmm. and um so there's only 173k people that really know who they i really am know you right. out of the 1.6 mm -hmm. million so mm -hmm. you know that's it's like nobody really seen me post the pictures of me and my dad and how right. I'm so connected with my siblings, mm -hmm. and you know, you just your oldest yeah. of five. Right? Yeah, I got yeah. five. I got five kids. I'm five. Five kids. Woo! Woo! Don't she tell, girl. Woo! Oh, okay. Do not put that pressure on my vagina. <laughs> right. Whoa. Right. You know, um, but yeah. So they didn't really see like when I was really, really struggling. They only right. seen when I started like you know growing and you know I started. Um, networking, like they only mm -hmm. they only got that part. They, that part. Mm -hmm. they didn't really see me posted up in the blue park with my friends on right. on the camera. Or the, remember right. when I used to dress colorful, right? Like like the they the didn't, bells, that's what I'm saying. They didn't get right. the MySpace mm -hmm. drink, um, <laughs> the top of the, <laughs> so right. the MySpace top, the Facebook top. The, right. You know, even like when I be seeing like my throwbacks thrown um thrown around, I'm like, dang, Pepe used to be popping, right? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's right. just like people never seen that. They, so they yeah. see me with the flash. Mm -hmm. They see me with the flat I was about to say, <laughs> describe your album cover because, of course, you know, plastic surgery is kind of big yeah. mm -hmm. in um, the industry right now. And Kate Michelle is one of the artists who actually got them removed. Yeah. How do you feel about your journey um, with well, that? Well, all right, so my album cover. Your album cover. It was um, me. It's Life and Plastic Part 1 part was one the is, patient. Yeah. Life and Plastic Part 2 was the doctor. Oh, I love that. So it was me working on myself as an artist, mm -hmm. working on my flow, my delivery, my transition. I love like, that. You know how to, like, just basically being a better me, a mm -hmm. better project. That's mm -hmm. what it was. So people got, you know, like always, like always. They, you know, they think what they want to think, and I don't care, you know. But I'm going to make sure that my fans didn't think that I was flaunting plastic surgery. I don't need to flaunt plastic surgery. My project is called Life and Plastic. Like, let's really talk about let's it. Let's really talk about you it. Know, I so love I that you clear that up, because a lot of people yeah. can probably think, like, okay, what she this, all this title, right, this album you know, cover looks. Both of them are me for a reason, because yeah. it's me working on myself. I love that. Exactly. See, Thank look, you. Look you know, her. like, it's just about being creative. Like, you really got to read between lines and really analyze my cover. Right. You know, um, but and you got me to analyze it just now because I was like, I'm gonna ask her. I don't want to just come judge no. it. I mm. want to ask her for myself. I'm very open that's, on like you know my surgery, good. especially to my fans. Like they was, I'm the reason why I don't give out like my doctors or anything because there's should. so much messed up stuff going yeah. on, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of doctors that are making their assistants or their interns um work on the some people and they'll only do like what? the popular people oh. so even with that you know i don't want nobody to nothing to happen to somebody yeah. and i'm the one that you know i'm just yeah. not trying to be connected to that you feel yeah me? um you know so i try to like not really give that much advice when it comes to surgery well, that's, what's up. Like that. that's what's up but um i mean to put work, do work on your body for right, you. Right, for you. You know, because you're still going to be the same person. Yeah, whatever you want to do for yourself. That's the real message. Yeah, like, you're going to be the same person when, after you get the um surgery. Or you not. Know, so mm -hmm. it can't change your internal per It can't change, change your internally. That's right. You know, um, but I mean, life and plastic. <laughs> life and plastic too, okay. <laughs> so what is now? Okay, so who would you like to work with that you haven't been able to work with just yet, but it's in the works of 2019? Who would you like to work with? Or um, is there anybody like on your radar that you would like to work with? Um. Well, she already did so, with Kim, so it don't matter now. I know, I'm not gonna lie. I wanna work with more female artists. More, okay. Um, I feel like a lot of female artists like move like how people, like, the mm -hmm. viewers on the show do like mm -hmm. like there's a lot of female artists that don't like me for no reason right like I, and and i peep everything like my fans is on full alert right high alert <laughs> right. they put they me on to like, everything any mm -hmm. unfollow any shady comment wow, they do dang you know so got a great fan base i love them <laughs> <They're> <laughs> like, like, my dreamers you're right you know um but it's just like i want to work with more female and, okay. try, and try to do like a like you know how queen latifah broke mm -hmm. brought everyone yeah. together but i feel like it's all like it could happen because it will. I meet a lot of female artists in person and mm -hmm. they're so cool. Like, they're I so met cool. Steph London. I met um Brianna Perry. I met Ooh. I met Sweetie. I met a whole bunch of you sweetie y'all similar to me in a really? sense. I don't know. Really? I don't know. 
In a sense. I don't think New York and LA girls are similar. At okay. All. We ain't similar. We okay. not. I don't think they like New York girls and LA girls are similar. What about Cardi B or Nicki Minaj? No, I would love to work with Cardi. Okay. What about me? Um, but I think we should put on, you know, for the Bronx. Uh, know, for the for Bronx. The culture. Okay. All right. You heard it here first for the culture. But you know, I really feel like we need like that Moulin Rouge mm -hmm. Ladies Night type of record that mm -hmm. would really like we could really outsell these guys out here. You know? Oh, you will outsell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I do enjoy it. Thank you for being here, of course. What is next? Can you go? Well, hold up. Is anything, scare, scare. Is anything off limits? No, you can ask me anything. <laughs> oh, y'all heard that, right? So, I am known for trading with the T, right? Okay. And these rumors have been floating around the internet of your dating life. My dating life? I'm not I, even dating nobody. You're not dating? Okay, there you go. So, as a friend, cool. listen, I woke up one day uh -huh. and I found I was dating somebody and I was signed to this label. Okay, and so I heard all the, No, that's not true. And okay. I say that in every interview. That is not true! That's not true. I was okay. about to say, so what about this takeoff rumor? That's not hearing? true. That's not true. You feel me? Like... Uh -huh. I have so aggy. No, but I don't even know where that came from. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like I haven't spoken to him in like over, like twenty seventeen. You know, Dude, yeah, like I haven't spoken to him all year. Mm -hmm. So it's like I don't know where that came from. Right. You know. The um, internet trolling. I had to act it up, girl, and, and I then, love that no, you. No, I, I woke. No, I woke up. Then uh -huh. was like I'm dating. You're dating him, <laughs> and I'm signed to Atlantic, Atlantic. and um. What else was it? Was one more thing. It was that my PR put that set that up. Whoa. They're like I'm the third amigo. I'm like, girl. I, I was just like, let me ask her because that is not everybody. True. It was all these what? articles like she's dating takeoff. She's signed to Atlantic. I'm no, like, what? that ain't true. I literally woke up and that was floating around. I'm like, dang. <laughs> and it's crazy because people will believe that mm -hmm. before they believe. Oh yeah. no. Dream Dolls mm -hmm. dating a woman. Or oh, yeah. Dream Dolls is dating. You know what I'm saying? It's just so weird, man. It's, it's, because, it's because you're so popping and they just want something to talk about. Listen, if I had a man, let me say something, you, sis. He would be all over my Instagram. All, and you know, I thought that was like she would probably. I would speak show about him it. off. Right. You know me? Like, I'm not going to be holding him apart from nobody. You won't accept me how I am. Okay. You're going you gonna to just watch the, watch the way. Like, you know what <laughs> right. I mean? I'm not. I don't believe in like hiding relationships or like you mm -hmm. know if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Mm -hmm. So what's next to wrap this all up? Because she gave all the tea today. So what's next for Dream Doll? Where do you see yourself in the next year? I'm gonna give you something. Yeah, a year. <laughs> a year, girl. Um, I want a number one record. Ooh, that's coming. At least the top forty. I will settle for that. Okay. You know. Um, no. Right. She's like settle. She is gonna get there. You know, one of them gotta happen. Period. Number one, period. Number, Number one. one. <laughs> like, why she, she's settling? We dream you know, all but, my, but come on. For me to be, when I first dropped my project, number 14 on the, um, on the, True. On the charts, mm -hmm. and then I have a number one record on all the charts, mm -hmm. on genres, or, you know, even, um, I appreciate anything, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. as far as I go. I appreciate growth. Growth. That's what, growth. I, that's what I'm aiming for, growth. Mm -hmm. Like, being better than I was last year, mm -hmm. being a, even a better person. Right. You know, because I'm still working on my way too. Right. You know, but, you know, just growth. Like, I like to be like, okay, like last year, the year before this, I wasn't invited to the BET Awards, but this year I performed for the experience stage. So it was like, uh -huh. you know, next year I'm going to be presenting an award. And I just be like, okay, I remember, I remember, I remember. Yeah. And as long as things get better, right. you know, right. it's growth to me. It's a win for me. Yeah. Way. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, Y'all heard it here first. Dream Doll is in the building with you. Yeah. Tradia. I had a great time, girl. Thank you I for stopping by and seeing me. I thought you had more. No. You want to talk? We can, let's talk. What you want to talk about? You know, I'm going to keep pressure. Okay. You know, I want to keep it short and sweet for the people. Okay. But, you know, we, we you not answer probably more than I even was going to ask. So. <laughs> if, you know what it is? Like, uh -huh. I, it just was a conversation. Right. That's see, We flow. We, we like this. So, whenever you're in the city, can I come out with you? Of course. Hey, yeah. Of course, um, I don't I don't have anything coming up in Charlotte, but definitely. But when you do, I know we was talking about, um, you know, me performing out here, so I would oh, definitely love to bring you out. Yes, okay. let me host it. Okay, well, it's Dream Dot in the bed with your girl Trady at number one station in the streets, streets one three three, one hundred point five. Wait, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Dream Doll, no underscore. Just got those removed. Okay, here. I'm Thank sure they know. already follow you, girl. <laughs> but follow her, Dream Doll. Okay, no underscore. No underscores. I just got them removed yeah. after my whole life on Instagram. Oh. Like, they removed them. Oh. Like, the two underscores, mm -hmm. so now it's just Dream Doll. Now it's just Dream Doll. Yeah, like, you still I got my name. <laughs> right, you still pop and sis. Okay. All right, thank you for being here.